Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to delete your shaders that don't get deleted when you delete your project so that you can free up some space in your hard drive. If you're like me, I'm rocking a two terabyte SSD and I keep getting all my memory taken up by damn shaders, even though I delete so many of my projects. So even if I go to my Unreal projects and just delete a few, it barely frees up anything in my local disk C. So in order to actually delete shaders, you're just going to head into your C drive or wherever Unreal Engine is installed. And then you are going to go to users and then your username. And then you're going to go into the app data. And if you don't see app data, you actually need to make it visible. And in order to do that, just head over to view if you're on Windows 11 and then under show, make sure that hidden items are checked. And now I can see this app data over here. Double click into that and then go into local. And then I will look for Unreal Engine. And now in Unreal Engine, you can kind of go into each folder. So for example, I don't know why I have 4.26 and 4.27 here. I guess I haven't, I haven't deleted these in quite a while, but you can head over to your common and what you want to delete is this derived data cache. You can also go into it and then go into the project name itself and delete the shaders. So for example, these .dat or .data files, are all shaders. So I'm just gonna go back to the common, delete the derived data cache, and then also do the same for all my Unreal Engine versions. But if you do it for every version, just know you will have to recompile shaders for whatever project you're working on if you do open that up. You can also free up some room by heading into the engine versions and deleting the saved. And the saved file just has your auto save, some of your crash reports and logs and so on. These will regenerate whenever you do open a project as needed. You can also delete your intermediate folder, which just has temporary build data, generated files and shader intermediate files. It's safe to delete and Unreal will rebuild as needed. And in addition to deleting shaders, you can head over, you can actually delete some of your plugins and assets by simply opening the launcher and just, uh, going to install plugins and removing what you don't need. So for example, Oceanology is 10.9 gigs. So if you head over to your local disk C program files, then I'm going to look for Epic games, go to whatever engine version you have those plugins installed. So let's go to 5.4, for example, and then look into engine and plugins. And then in plugins, there will be one called marketplace and this is pretty much where a lot of your files will probably stay which you can simply remove from this list as so and if you do need to see the memory size you can just hover over this so for example dungeon architect i haven't really been using and this is four gigabytes right here and then i don't know what this is six kilobyte thing so let me just go ahead and get rid of that and i'll just go here and remove these remove these uh, you do have to keep the fab plugin, I believe, if you want to import your assets and that one itself takes, it's only hundred megs. It's not a, it's not an issue. And simply by doing those steps, I've, I've gotten back about 400 gigabytes worth of hard drive space. Thanks for watching. Curtis Row. like, subscribe, comment below. What you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.